Hi and welcome to another Tab This Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I wanted to look at these, which are some little kind of Easter inspired um, scenes. Um, my daughter, Lena, made this. We were just playing with glass and she made that all by herself. And I was very proud of it and I went, oh that's a lovely idea. We're using the egg shape but making a kind of little Easter scene. And then I saw someone online had done some beautiful kind of um, sort of watercolory uh, colours and so I decided to do the background like that and add a kind of design like Lena had done. So this was my take on it and today I'm going to show you how to make this. So, it's not, okay. so all I want to do to, is I want to squash this glass so I'm literally just going to lay out some glass. Now the nice thing about this is it's all transparent so if I put kind of a, um, two layers of transparent on top of each other we will get a darker colour, um, but also because we're, we're um, pressing it, it will also end up um, slightly lighter because it will be thinner so the concentration won't be so thick. Um, so I'm just going to go over and create some different layers. Now I'm using various different colours. Um, I've got lemon and lime, um, spring green, this is rhubarb sh um, shift and the tint, so it's the light one. I've got some rhubarb um, shift of the kind of darker one. Um, I'm going to overlap those a bit together so when they push down, I've then got some um, light. In fact, I've got some very um, 18, 1808 which is uh, a tint again. So I'm using quite light colours. Um, then I've got some 1408 and then a bit of turquoise as well that I'm going to use in various places to finish it up. Um, we'll be cutting kind of egg shapes out of this afterwards. So I'm not so worried about um, it is a hole, I just want a kind of nice piece and so I can cut one, two, maybe three or four egg shapes once it's um, pushed. Now I realise I've built it quite close to the edge of the uh, shelf so I'm just going to push it all over a bit and uh, then it will um, have space to spread. And this will go in with another kiln shelf on top, the this, this side on top needs to be um, have kiln wash on it so it doesn't get stuck and it will be pressed in our, far, our, in our pressing schedule. So here this is um, out of the kiln. Um, it's squashed quite nicely. It's interestingly thicker at this end than this end. It's slightly thinner at the, at the top than at the bottom. Um, but I don't mind that. I, I just like the fact that it's quite nice thin glass um, to tack it on. And it's going to look pretty in a window. I don't know whether we can hold it up like that and see that it's sort of got that nice sort of feeling of landscape in the window, um, if it's in a window. Um, I'm now going to um, cut it out. I may actually readjust this one to not have this bit of sky here. I'm not sure that's so pretty. And um, just do a slightly smaller egg. I'll see. Once I get it cut out, I'll have a look. And I can always then adjust it and cut it a bit smaller. Um, so I'll cut these out. Um, you could try and cut these out um, with a, a, um, a, 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 a... Sorry, my words have disappeared today with just a, um, a glass cutter and breakers, um, but I'm concerned it might not. I've got a tile saw, so I'm just going to do it on my tile saw. So here these are, Now I've drilled the hole in them. They're nicely sandblasted. I'm lucky I have a sandblaster. If you don't, just kind of diamond pad them um, to get off any residue from the kiln from being pressed. Um, I would say these aren't that heavily pressed. Um, the glass is stood together and maybe we didn't even need to do the pressing process but it keeps it kind of slightly thinner. As I said, it's, it's pretty much six mil at the bottom, but at least it's thinner at the top. Um, so now decorating them. I'm gonna do them um, each different uh, one slightly, um, each one slightly differently even. So let's start with the smallest. Um, if I can get my glue to work. My favorite glue, you know me. Um, so I'm going to just use some brown stringers and create a little tree. And this one I'm going to sort of do because it's um, uh, it's got kind of more green. I feel like I can put a kind of sheep on it. It can be sort of 
springy and cheap and um, you know I'm going to put some flowers in the background in the foreground so I'm going to carry on decorating these and you can see how I get on. So here these are out of the kiln. We had a bit of a mess up. I had a kiln decide to go wrong on me twice. So they've been in the kiln rather too many times. Um, they also, the second kiln, I eventually moved them over to fires a lot hotter than the first one. And I seem to think I'm firing it cold enough and it always catches me out every time. So they've gone a bit soft. I would say my bunny ears, they feel a bit kind of like they're dreamily in the background, soft focus bunnies. But I still think they're really cute and lovely. I love the colors. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but I think they're really pretty how they worked. Um, so I hope you like this idea and are keen to make some nice Easter little decorations yourself. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>